Hello everybody, welcome to the quarterfinal replay cast of Tomish or Tom Bish, whichever one it is. Take your pick. Um, he's got Skaven here, very nice little team. He's got a wizard as well. Cleverly kept his TV below the cap to get wizards sometimes. Um, up against Isildur with uh, Chaos, a pretty decent looking Chaos team actually with this white and uh, purple. I, I don't hate this at all to be honest. Uh, and so for that reason he gets to keep his colours. Good for you. And uh, I guess his team is 1700. It did come up the start of the match but of course I wasn't really paying attention so I don't know exactly what TV they were. You can find it out on the Nuffle XYZ link if you're interested. Um, that's a very good resource made by Galentio so that's great. I'm looking at the team we've got some claws, some blocks, some guards, some mighty bows pretty decent looking team I think better than Olivier's team I think this is pretty, well, well except there's only 11 players and there's no sneaky get dirty player so actually worse than Olivier's <laughs> if he had an extra player with sneaky get dirty player it would be better but he doesn't have that so but the rest of the team is better right which I guess checks out because it would be it's, it's more TV than his <laughs> But, um, right, it disregard everything I said the last few minutes. But he's got Movement 7 Beastman, pretty good. And uh, the Skaven, have, you know, they've got some kind of random... I guess they rolled some randoms here, right? First skill and stuff. Got a bunch of tackle, wrestle, pro, some block, tackle mighty guard. And basically, they're just going off the one turn here. This, uh, this good runner here is going to try to one turn. A classic Skaven gameplay. And you know, Matt might just wizard and, and win through the wizard as well. So two routes to victory. Classic classic Skaven. Hello Punter. Hello Martin Crew. Right, so they just punch some things. And they punch back. Like the opening turns, it's funny, isn't it? Like you can't you can't win the game in the first couple of turns, but you can lose it, so, you know, getting the ball gathered up and safe it was not too exciting for the first couple of turns. Keeping these down makes sense for both parties, right? The Skaven don't want to just stand up to get punched, and the Chaos don't want to let them roam around the backfield, maybe threatening the ball. This is a very good player though, so he's, you know, agility 2 plus for dodging and movement 7, so this is a prime target to zap. And you can still fireball sometimes, but the zap is, uh, is just very powerful, right? turning, turning their best player into a frog. So they lose the ball and you can cast the best player as well very easily, very powerful, frogging frogging things. Chaos team looks a lot better here, doesn't it? Like it is. It's, it's got more TV. It looks like it's a much more powerful team. But the problem is, if the Skaven, you know, if the Wizard works, or if the One Turn works, they might just win off the basis of, like, really one player. <laughs> and some gutters. Ooh, um, that's not a cage. <laughs> this guy could have been here and it's a lot better. Um, or here, or here, you know, anywhere except just out there. So I imagine we're going to take a shot at him. Could have even wizarded, honestly. This would have been a fine chance to wizard, because, like, of course you've got the shot at him. But you could have also wizarded as well. <laughs> um... He decided to only use one reroll. Didn't reroll that rush, and uh, and failed. It's only gonna be one day anyway. I wouldn't have hit it like a fireball, right? Could hit this guy and these three as well. Decent chance of knockdowns, attrition. Go straight through the middle. Would have been fine to have a fireball there, I think. 
how I'll read it. Something I learned in one chalice where I had high elves or dark elves, some kind of elves. I um, I didn't wizard. I had a good opportunity, so I didn't wizard. And then I thought, and then you know, then the opportunity slipped away because I didn't get good dice. And I thought, do you know what? If I'd added a wizard to that as well, it would have, it would have greatly had, like you know, it would have added so much to the uh, chance of the steel working that it would have vastly outweighed the benefit of having it in my pocket if it failed, right? So, so now I'm much more happy to use wizards, um, even in good situations like that. Right, so some turns with it. If you haven't got used to the rings now, you should have. So, there are a few people requesting rings. So they get they get a few turns with the rings, and then they can they can learn from those few turns which are the players. <laughs> I think that's quite reasonable. There are a few tags, nothing serious. Blitz us forward. And no magic up. It's so wild that they give they give the most distinctive ring to the one that you can always tell who he is. <laughs> oh yeah, we, we, we need we need a circle for big guys. Alright, make that bright red so nobody can miss it. How should we differentiate blockers and blitzers? I don't know. Yellow and darker yellow? Oh yeah, that sounds reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely wild. Oh, and there comes in the, the wizard. Hits three out of five, including the ball. Do you know what um do you know what he could have done there? He could have had this one like out here and this one out here. Or this one up there and this one back there, something like that. In fact, yeah, because he wants these two tacklers, right? He wants the tacklers um, to not all get caught. So he could have had he could have had the tackler like this one back there and this one back there, or this one across and this one across. Something like that, just they wouldn't all get hit by the blast. But a uh, very lucky, uh, very lucky result, wasn't it? Very lucky result. Or Quincy. And this, this is, I mean, it's an insanely lucky result. Just going to pick it up in a tackle zone. Is he going to hand off in a tackle zone as well? Yep, stacked it up as well. His two rerolls. Gets the pick up, gets the hand off. Choose! And he's off. That's ridiculous, isn't it? That's Skaven for you. So, yeah, I mean, all he could have really done was to have had a bit of a wider cage uh, to guard against the wizard a little bit. You know, he could have stayed close at these two to make it. If the wizard worked, there'd be still be something around it as well. So he could have stayed a bit closer. But uh, ultimately, if somebody's going to wizard you and get three out of five knockdowns, including the ball, there's not a lot you can do against uh, against rats if that happens. Unfortunately, um, I mean, it's just incredible, incredible wizard. Beautiful, beautiful cord. He's just got a three dice like an idiot and hope that you know, like not that he, not that he's an idiot, but like you know, like all he can do is just punch things, right? There's no, there's no clever play open to him, right? There's, you can't put players in great squares. You can't do creative players. All he can do is just hit things and hope they break. Like you're just left with like nothing, right? You, all you can do is just hope. Hope that your uh, things work. Tragic, really, when you compare it to just Skaven rolling some dice and getting away from you. Hello, Steve. That will get fixed one day, I promise. Well, I can't promise. Can't promise, because it's up to Twitch to fix it, isn't it? But hopefully. Didn't lose this streak, though. Yeah, sorry for the really fat, really short stream of the day. Maybe it doesn't break streaks if it's really short, right? Because I'm not sure I opened this with Jim Con and I kept the streak going. But, um. 
Yeah, that was annoying, honestly. There were two games scheduled at the same time and they both started early, so I couldn't start either. I couldn't stream either one. And I was really tired, so I just thought, oh, easier. Easier to not stream at all and watch the NFL. So that's what I did, and my fantasy team got bodied. Absolutely bodied. I felt very sad. Lona gets the foul. And a mere KO. Of course, the Skaven can score freely now because the Chaos will only get one turn back. So, no need to stall this out whatsoever. He could stall it outright, could just make a screen, hope it's enough, but there's, there's no need to take any risks. You can just bang it in. I'm trying not to judge them. I guess I can't help it, can I? But I'm trying to be less, you know. Well, people say toxic just for being honest, don't they? A lot of people. I think it's fine to say if you think something was good or not. Alan Hansen used to, didn't he? Shock and defending all the time, he'd say. Hello, Magnus. He would always say shock and defending. So. But anyway, I'm trying to be. Uh, you know, better. There we go, there's the cars. That was a great play. Fwa. <laughs> I'm trying to be better, sounds like I'm trying to be better, that's the thing, right? I've, I know I, I've been... I know that I've been a bit of a dickhead sometimes, so I'm trying to be less of a dickhead. That's what I'm trying. That is easier on commentary than it is playing, because obviously playing you end up whining about the dice and stuff. Every, it's inevitable, isn't it, really? <laughs> Did I, Elements? <laughs> were, were you the worst goblin coach that I've ever seen? <laughs> like, w was I right? <laughs> that could be a little bit harsh, but um, <laughs> blackout trouble. Well, there you go. <laughs> New to Blood Bowl and Blackout Drunk. Yeah, I'd be surprised if you weren't the worst. <laughs> if you weren't the worst Goblin coach I'd ever seen. I mean, people are bad when they start. That's fine, isn't it? Of course they are. Of course they are. If I, if I tried Taekwondo, I'd be shit at it. <laughs> That's okay, isn't it? You can call me a beginner or you can call me shit. It's okay. I guess it's kind of the dumb thing to sugarcoat it and say somebody's a beginner, but I think you can also call someone bad. They're bad because they're a beginner. Some beginners are good at things, aren't they? You know, like, you know, I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but I bet, I bet the first time, like, you know, Maradona kicked a ball about, he was just fucking incredible, wasn't he? <laughs> Better than I would have been after after ten years of playing football. <laughs> So, you know, some people are talented at things, so beginner isn't necessarily, doesn't necessarily mean bad. Yes, piling on is brilliant. Level one coach, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like not improving is fine as well, isn't it? Like, you know, like that's completely fine. Like it takes all sorts, doesn't it? Like that, I think, you know, it's not like, you know, no one's playing this for money or social status or anything, are they? Do you know what I mean? Like, there's no need to, like, you know, call somebody an idiot or laugh at them if they're bad or anything. Though sometimes things are funny. Things that happen in the game are funny sometimes. But, like, you know, it's not, like, it's not damning if somebody's not good at Blood Bowl, is it? Like, you know, so what? Lots of people don't care about being good. Some people do. But by far the most won't care, will they? 
and uh, and obviously the thing is like in Chalice and uh, in Chalice and uh, Super League it's, it's pretty good players right or at least it should be in the Chalice should be good players in the Chalice I think so you know and you know and if you do want to learn how to play better then you can you can learn from from watching the players an analysis that says this is shit because <laughs> not just this is shit so I'm g really going to try and do the shit because that's the thing if I do say shit which I'm going to try not to but the because is the important part isn't it yeah exactly big so don't want to improve right lots won't even want to improve I'm shy. Hello, Goliath. <laughs> yeah, no problem. No problem. Nachtwatch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. It did start early. It's alright. It's alright. Yeah, I think that's the thing, isn't it? It, it? Blood Bowl does does take all sorts. This is a little bit of a little bit of a pickle, isn't it? He went very wide. He went very wide with his Daka. And that's left him a little bit touched by a lot of people. Maybe he should have stayed deeper and not spread out so he didn't get touched as much. Kept him in contact. Gets the power there. That would could have been disastrous if we didn't get the power. Follows. Doesn't mind everyone getting based here. This is a lot of stuff based. We can hit the ball here, but we can't we? if we want to. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI. We probably just don't want to. He hasn't got tackle. So he's not. He's not such a good ball sacking threat. In that case, just don't follow. Right. So that you're not. You know, just getting punched by him. Like Chaos can just punch everything here, which is quite good. Would have got an extra. Maybe he wouldn't have. It's tough because you want to hit as much as possible, but also you don't leave him the break, do you? So. Ugh. Bad dies. Woof. That was a bit of a greedy reroll, but completely understandable. Um. Okay. Good. I mean, I still think this guy should have been like here, right? Or here, even here. Probably should have been here because this is way too easy to get past. Yeah, sorry, give this kid. He gave up. Guess knocked down. But I guess the thing is, although he gave up this hit, which I didn't like following for giving up this hit. If he hadn't followed, this guy maybe runs around here, uh, you know, and stops the score, or stops the breakaway. Whereas now it's a very easy break down the side. Oh. The rogue, the rogue fails the pro. Thought he'd failed a loner reroll then, but he hadn't. Pushes all he needs. Might have just done a one of there. Like eight times out of nine, you win. It's probably not worth doing a one of because, you know, at the end of the day. You, you get one gutter out of here, which is enough. He's 1 0 up, doesn't he? He just outpaces him next turn. Yeah, yeah, so it, it was terrible doing a 1D. But, you know, could have broken down a 1D, could have broken through the 1D if he had to. But, yeah, it definitely wasn't worth doing that because this guy's fast enough to get out. And... Oh, my goodness. Amazing that he holds. If he'd even just pushed him, he could have got something in front of him. But this guy now is like double GFI back, and even then. Is it then fast enough? Oh my god, got a kill. Right. If he goes to here, then he's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. He still can't reach. So yeah, maybe he should have kept a tackler back deeper, because now the gutter just outpaces him. <laughs> Red dies with wrestle. Yeah, but didn't need to, did he? This was the safest way. He only needed the screen of two. 
because you can outdistance everything. So what you might have done, Sol, is do that thinking I get more stuff, right? Thinking you get more stuff through, but he doesn't need stuff through because he outpaces everything next turn anyway. So, interesting. Hello, Leap, thank you very much. <laughs> yes, he could have been a bit more swamped. Yes, he could have been a bit more swamped. Yeah. Yeah, true. True. True, the one in it you wanted help. Oh. I think I might have gone for the 1D. But then, then if you're going to go for a 1D, the uphill's better, isn't it? Because the uphill's 30 and so then the 1D's 33. So yeah, maybe I would have uphill wrestled, yeah. Yeah, maybe I would have one hill uphill wrestled then, Sol. Yeah, maybe I would have. Maybe I would have. Maybe we are very intelligent, Sol. <laughs> maybe that was best. <laughs> because with, if you do it with a gutter you maybe get everything through as well don't you as well that's another good thing by going for the uphill you you nearly you maybe get everything through so that's even better as well yeah so it's like it's like three more players through yeah yeah but you know this was safe and it got him oh my god it did get the ball through this was much more likely to get the ball through and he's 1-0 up so maybe it was right to do it his way. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Interesting. Is this the only cup game? No, Lee, there are lots of cup games. Um, all of the cup games have been played. All of the remaining cup games have been played. So there are four replays to do tonight, so three more. And also, there is the live Era BB Blood Bowl 3 semi-final. Uh, their World Cup qualifier to do which uh, to cast that of course I will be joined by a genuine Irishman to help cast me the game cast the games that's nice isn't it and now this is all right 2-0 no need to stall or anything just bang it in GG It will be a bit of an all night yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, why would you say that, Scoop? <laughs> we've got Kale on, we've got Keith. I'm sure there's other people. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Genuine. <laughs> Bass, come on, come on. Oh, I mean, it just literally doesn't matter, does it? He might go for the balls, like he might not. It's, it's just, it just literally doesn't matter. <laughs> End the YouTube video. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> I wonder if it... Like, it's weird, right? Because we are live here, aren't we? We are live here. Watching this live. And then... So it's over. But we'll watch the last turn or two. Getting ready for the next one. I wonder if the YouTube people... Just turn it off now, because it's over, right? Maybe I should maybe I should wrap it up and say like two nil win for two mish. I don't know. Maybe some people won't. Yeah, maybe some people will watch the end, even though it's over. Maybe like Elliot will be there saying, "Don't say it's over," and watch watch till the end. It's funny as well because obviously in the old days that the cup was um, way hey, sounds like. 
Um, when the cup used to be progression, there was still something to play for, right? Like, could foul this guy, cast this guy, stuff like that, right? Whereas now, with it being uh, resurrection, this gut runner is not dead, right? So, you can see what an advantage, like, Skaven getting the cup now. This guy is not actually dead. So they can go all out every game. And, uh, you know, never suffer the consequences and stay top quality throughout the tournament. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the most Irish person in Blood Bowl could be Elliot, couldn't he, in the JFW? Uh, is he here? I am here. Oh, it, it appears he is, yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I just had to pause to make a cracker hilarious joke in my Discord there. Um, congratulations, Tom Bish or Toomish, whichever one it is. Um, you know, whoever you are, Tom Bish, Toomish, congratulations. Won with Skaven, beat Isildur. Um, you know, yep, well done, rats. Everyone hates them. But um, a wizard's good, isn't it? So there you go. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.